Check this out! Look, look at where we are before we get started. How is that? It's beautiful. Just pure wilderness out here. And today we're being quizzed by you guys. Thanks for sending you questions in. Let's get to it, shall we? So the first question was, how, where and when did we meet? Well, we met in 2017 and he actually lived just around the corner from me. I moved uh, down the coast Ocean Grove because I heard there was a beautiful girl down here. <laughs> so we, my friend and I set up a little dinner at our place to get Cam to come over. Um, he just got back from Norway and the first thing we talked about was his epic photo. <laughs> Thank you Northern Lights for giving me something to show Elite. <laughs> there was a bit of flirting over Instagram and then the rest was history. Uh, slight disclaimer, she started the flirting over Instagram. She, as, as the young crew out there call it, slid into my DMs. <laughs> yeah, it's true. And then I asked her um, on a date basically that's what you call it and yeah <laughs> three weeks later i told her i was going to marry her true story it's true it is true we didn't muck around got married six months after we got engaged and then started a business together six months after that <laughs> Next question, where did the name Zarali come from? Uh, so we wanted to find a word that really stood for the lifestyle that we wanted to advocate and um, stand by. So we looked up some old ancient words and we found an old Persian word for fearless and an African word for full of life. And we put those two words together it was like the first three letters and the last three letters and it's spelt Zarali, so fearless and full of life. Pretty cool, hey? We didn't know if anyone was going to like it, to be honest, but we've had incredible feedback from everyone besides probably one person on social media who said WTF is Zarali, worst name ever. And whoever that was, you cut me deep because I can still remember it, but everyone else Thanks for the love. We love it too. Did someone really say that? Uh, I think in their crowd funny thing. <laughs> what was the inspiration behind Zarali? This. <laughs> Look at it. Seriously though, pretty much like this. We were just really inspired by, I guess, the peace and just goodness that we find out here in nature. Whether it's hiking or surfing or camping, we believe we're really called into nature to find rest and to just slow down and enjoy life with loved ones. And we really wanted to create something that was an overflow of our love for that. A love for just getting outside and having fun with friends. And we believe that time spent in nature is really the pathway to a happy and healthy life. And it really just started from there. That's where our dreams for Zorali began. And that's what's really informed everything that we live and breathe as a brand today. So the next question, oh, nearly took a tumble. Uh, is any tips? Oh, <laughs> I need tips on how to walk, obviously. But uh, is there any tips for first time campers? I believe, yes, I definitely would say keep it simple for your first time. Don't feel like you have to go out there and conquer a mountain or do anything extreme, but 
just some good old car camping finds somewhere close by caravan park or even a free national park there's heaps of apps and websites out there that can tell you where to go and yeah have a good time take some friends pack some good bedding because you always want to have a good sleep when you're camping and some nice food as well mm. we're going to put up a little blog for what we pack when we go camping so you can see what you need Oh, and one more thing, make sure you check the weather before you set out on your camp trip. Make sure you're gonna be safe and have the right gear. Alrighty, next question. What is your favorite journey, Cam? For us, we're pretty blessed to live in a pretty beautiful part of the world. I mean, look at this. This is like 10 minutes from home for us. No one around, look at that sky. And yeah, we love just hitting the road, heading down the Great Ocean Road, which is just down the road. I just said road about 50 times. <laughs> um, and going for a little hike, camping somewhere beautiful. There's so many beautiful spots around the Otways down there and finishing it off with a surf the next morning. That is our ideal journey. Yeah. For you? Yeah. Yeah.